Hello and welcome to today's YouTube episode. On today's sewing adventure I'm going to be talking about my most recent makes. So let's get started. So before I start sharing my most recent makes with you today, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I'm wearing today. Today I'm wearing a dress made from a viscose fabric from Rainbow Fabrics. I made this one right at the beginning of the year. It is a Tres Coquelico pattern and it is the Oxford dress. It's a really beautiful dress and it was the first sew along I actually did for my YouTube. It's got these lovely bow details, bow tie details at the cuffs and it's got these lovely kind of wide sleeves and the skirt is fitted and then it, this, the top is fitted and then it is a gathered skirt so it is actually a really lovely pattern and I really enjoy wearing this dress. So let's have a look at what I've been making recently. The first make I want to share with you today is this one. This is the Agnes pyjama top by the Paper Theory patterns and I don't wear this one as pyjamas, I wear this one as a shirt. I love this pattern, it's really simple to make, it's got a really lovely construction and it looks like a dress shirt if it's made in the right fabric. So this one is made from the Fabric Godmother Journey Viscose Stripe Fabric. It's a viscose crepe, so it's quite fine. I do really enjoy wearing this one. I decided to put the stripes going vertically because I could then get a really lovely match across the back. Um, so I've used this thin uh, floral stripe in the center and then I have kind of offset the sleeve. So I'm really pleased with how that's turned out. And then if you have a look at the front, I've done exactly the same thing. So down the button placket, I have placed this thin line of flowers and then I have matched the wrist around it. So super pleased with how that pattern matching turned out. I also really like the way that on the collar pieces we've got these lovely blue flowers and I think that that just ties in really nicely. So pleased with this one. I have used the Pigeon Wishes buttons which are really bright and colourful and I think they finish the garment off beautifully. For this one I did a different technique to finish the sleeves and what I have done is I've done a kind of gathering stitch so I've just attached a piece of elastic in there and that just kind of brings those sleeves up a little bit at the side rather than just a normal flat cuff. So that is the first rate I'm sharing with you today. It's a really lovely one. It looks nice um, open but it also looks nice tucked into jeans and to trousers too. So that is my first make. Now the next make I'm going to share with you today is these, these are the Sew Over It Ultimate Trousers. What I did with this pair was I actually hacked them to add a waistband. The original pattern just has a facing, which you obviously fold underneath here, but I've hacked it to add a waistband and I really like the way that that sits when I wear them. So super pleased with these. There are details on their blog, how to add the waistband. So I will put a link to those in the descriptions box below for you. But really, really happy with how these ones have turned out. I have made them slightly shorter than full length. So they're kind of like a three quarter length. And they are made from a stretch drill fabric, a cotton drill fabric that I got from Fabric Godmother. So they're super comfortable because they've got that lovely stretch in them. And obviously this navy, is a really good colour as well. So really pleased with how they turned out and that is the second make that I am sharing with you today. So the third make that I'm sharing with you today is this. This is a True Bias Marlo sweater or cardigan. So this one is made from a viscose polyester blend fabric that I got from Guthrie and Garni and it's a really good basic, a really good staple to have in your wardrobe is just a plain black cardigan as we all know. And now we're coming up to winter, it's really lovely to have this one that I can wear because it will just match with everything. I did add these Pigeon Wishes buttons which I'm really pleased about. That These are the ones I got at the Knitting and Stitching show so they are really lovely bright colourful buttons 
And then I had a go on my sewing machine doing something I hadn't done before, which was adding the stretch buttonhole. So I did put interfacing on the um, button band there, on the inside obviously, and then I had a go at using my stretch buttonhole setting, which actually worked quite well, and seems to contain the buttons nicely. So the, I've also used the little rosy cheeks uh, creativity never goes out of style tag as well on this one just to finish it off nicely uh, I really like the Marlo, Marlo cardigan it is really simple it's lovely in its construction it doesn't take too long I think from beginning to end I made this one maybe in like two hours so that's really good going um, and it's just a really enjoyable quick make that obviously is a really practical one to have in your wardrobe. So that is my third make that I am sharing with you today. So the last three makes I'm going to share with you today, there is another one that's on the table, um, are all made with Aurifil threads that have been gifted to me. So I'll just let you know that before we start. The first one I'm going to share with you is this make. This is the Merchant and Mills Heroine heroine jeans pattern and I'm super impressed with how they have turned out. I did use the Aurifil threads to construct, to piece together, I'll put the details of that in the descriptions box below and also for this gorgeous top stitching as well so I will let you know all about that in the descriptions box. I love the fit of these, you should be able to see them in a photo and then what I did because I have made this pattern before but the, the original pattern has a really, really wide leg. I mean, these are still quite wide, but the, but the leg on the other, the original pattern just goes straight down. So what I did, as I tapered them slightly, I used the Harleen dungarees, which is also a Merchant and Mills pattern. And I laid that over the top, and these ones now taper slightly at the bottom, which I think is more my style. So I'm super pleased with how they have turned out. They are incredibly comfortable. They are made in an 8 ounce denim that I bought from Merchant and Mills as well. So they're quite thin, but because they're a bit baggier, it means I'll be able to get a pair of leggings under these in the winter, which I'm really excited about because it just means that they will be that little bit more warm when I'm wearing them. So that is really excellent. A couple more features on these, which I'll show you, is I used the Little Rosy Cheeks label in the middle. Uh, for the back. I use the Pigeon Wishes button on the front which I absolutely love because it just is one of those details that you know you only get if you make your own clothes. For the pocket bags and I think that this matches the button really nicely I use this cotton lawn fabric that I've had in my stash for ages and it does match that button really nicely so that's the inside of the pocket bag and then on the back I just added this little tag which says you are loved. So that is my heroine jeans. Super pleased with these. And as I said, made entirely with the Aurifil threads. So really excited to start wearing these ones now that the weather has cooled down. Now the next thing I'm going to share with you is a quilt that I have made. And I have made this quilt entirely out of the Aurifil threads as well. So again, they were gifted to me. I will put the details of those in the descriptions box below. This is the Emma Jean Jensen Boulder Dash quilt and I am super super proud of how it has turned out. So this was a bit of a step up for me in terms of quilting. The pattern was more challenging than anything that I have attempted before but I'm really pleased that I did do it because I think it's turned out really nicely and obviously it's always good to challenge ourselves when we are making new things. So super impressed with how this one has turned out and what I did as well is you can see it quite nicely there for the quilting pattern. I actually, I really challenged myself with that. If you have a little look, I kind of made it like this floral pattern um, and I used my walking foot to do that and I used the book by Jackie Jeering to help me, like to guide me through that basically. So I started by doing the horizontal uh, and vertical lines coming down like this and then I flipped it to a diagonal, made the 
petal shape slightly larger and then carried on. So I honestly couldn't be more happy with how that one's turned out. It's not perfect, but I think the overall effect looks really great and I'm super proud of how it's turned out. So um, so that is so that is that quilt there to show you. The back I just went with a grey and white floral fabric and it's probably a bit more difficult to pick up, but obviously those quilting lines have gone uh, it's quite difficult to see, but you can see the quilting lines here that have gone right through. So really proud of this one, really pleased with it. Perfect time for the cooler weather, obviously. And yeah, it was nice to challenge myself, both with the quilt pattern, the piecing of the quilt, but also the quilting stitching on top as well. So that is my fifth make that I'm sharing with you today. Now the last make that I'm sharing with you today is this one. This one was also made with the Aurifil threads. This is made with the garment thread. So this one is um, made with the 43 ply thread. So I'll put the details of that below. Now if you've watched my YouTube before, you will recognize this fabric. This is the fabric that I got at the knitting and stitching show. So it looks like a gorgeous floral from a distance, but when we come in close, we can see that the flowers are filled with beautiful ladies who are kind of just sitting in, in the flowers. So <laughs> I really like this print. I think it's so gorgeous and I love the little people in the flowers. I love flowers anyway. I love all the colors. It's really, really, uh, it's one of my favorite fabrics and it is a cotton. So the I added the Fabric Godmother Dopamine Dressing Tag, which I thought was a really appropriate one for this make. And I've added the Cut One Pair and Pigeon Wishes button, which is the little heart shape button on the back there with the Rouleau loop. This is the New Craft House Everyday Dress Pattern. So I have made that dress before. I've made it as a top and I've made it as a dress before. Really impressed with how it has turned out. And I think that because it is made from this cotton, the sleeves hold their puff really beautifully. And you should have seen that on a picture that I had on the screen. So that's the last make that I'm gonna share with you today, but it is one of my favorites and I can't wait to start wearing this one. I think I will wear it very, very often. So that is it for today's YouTube episode. I hope you enjoyed watching it. It was really fun to share with you what I have been making recently. I haven't actually filmed one of these clips for about three months, so, uh, you know, it doesn't seem like a lot of makes for three months, but obviously the quilts took a really long time and the jeans also are quite time consuming as well. But I do also have some plans which I'm hoping to share with you next week and there, there are quite a few things coming in the pipeline. I was really busy over summer working and then obviously I went away a couple of times as well. So probably not as productive as usual but still really pleased with all of the things that I have made. If you have a favorite make, from today's um, clip then I would love to hear what that was you can leave me a comment in the comments box below or if you just have anything at all that you would like to say about today's clip then I would be really interested in hearing from you as well if you could like this clip then I would really appreciate that also if you have subscribed it's great to have you here regularly I really appreciate that if you haven't yet subscribed then you might want to consider subscribing or think about doing that I would really appreciate it if you could do that I hope you have a wonderful day afternoon evening whatever time it is for you and I'll see you here again soon